Quest Jester back. I have episode one up on my other screen. Because I always review. Okay. What am I doing? Right. Okay. Um, sup, What's wizard? Your new wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. All right. What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota. Don't you guys read the papers? Just the funnies. You mean the obituaries, Max. Potato, potato. We're okay. a young state, but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the north and south. Okay. How did you get into politics? I won the election. That's... It was a very close I don't, race. I don't know. I don't know, I I don't know totally if that's a good thing or not. Popular vote. Was it a runoff election? You see what I did there? Runoff? Because he's wizard? You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. What are your qualifications? Are your qualifications he's going to say, oh, I piss. I'm a television celebrity. Oh, that's, now so are we, so. Now I can get behind. What brings you to the Oval Office? I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Who's Mr. Uh... Sap? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? <laughs> I can spell, you know. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Contrary to popular belief. Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. Good for you. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. Flat. If we can't get federal funding, people all over the Dakotas are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. Okay. You don't have any money, Max. Oh, right. Never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. All right. Um... So this is like a drug addict thing. Good. So you really kicked the soda. They're really out. poking and every bear here at uh, Telltale, pop, huh? I was in a real downward spiral. Don't call it pop. That endless cycle of always looking yeah, you for know the next fizz. Ooh. Then having to take time out for number one. Then I saw that documentary so about Tina like, Franklin, oh, man. and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a seedy Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? What you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. Are you sure you wouldn't like a nice cold soda? Gee, thanks. I'll take a... Whoa, no! <laughs> Stay strong, wizard. You control the bubbles. The bubbles don't control you. It's not heroin, Stop dude. Stop talking about soda, will ya? Stop, Stop shouting about the crisp, clean taste or the effervescent fizz as it pours over ice into a frosty glass. All of it. I've been completely flat for over a month now. All right, I well. I can't go back to the way I used to be. I just can't. We're ready to interpret. We're ready. <laughs> Don't tell me. The president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. Can't understand a word. See you around, wizard. All right. Oh, look, it's Chuckles. Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. True. Ooh, finally, the interpreters. That's me. Where have you been? And, and, uh, and him. Uh, we're ready. We're, we're ready. All right. Let's get this party started. Yes, please. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Why do I feel like... Yeah, we'll say that. 
What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. An ice cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by him. No! That's I not swear what I by him. I must sugar. Resist, but I love I sugar water. Thirsty, and just one couldn't hurt. Dude, it's just Frosty water. Gold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five week pin. Well, at least I you got almost four feel weeks. Bad about this. I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? Oh. He did not open that. What did you use to open that? Please don't burp like that. Oh, blessed angels of carbonation. He's losing it. Fill me with your syrupy nectar. Ooh, don't say that. Oh, don't say yeah, that one. No, I'm not so much guilty as we Yeah, please don't say that again. I more. I need more. I need. I need a bathroom. Which way is the bathroom? Uh, which way? Which way is the war room? Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there. But I don't. Oh, thank you. Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there. Bad. We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation. Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please let me go. Dude, man's gonna piss on that you, Chuckles. Was fun. Okay, now no, I didn't catch all that. What did he say? Okay. Can I touch the national budget now? Stand back, son. That there's the national budget. I guess not. All right, well, let's punch him then. This will be good. Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly. Look it, fellas. My fingertips look like little tadpoles. Good for you. He has no head. They just don't make these guys like they used so to. So no head, no guy, Max. break cell it's phone, and skateboard. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV-watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? Nothing. He was like that when we got here. True. Sam did it. Hey. <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas. Yeah. Sam did it. Bro. Still, ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. Oh, okay. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. But now that these idiots have forced my hand, uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. True. It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Like who? Agents Jackson, Burr, and Degambe. We are okay. moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Wow. We're really getting into it. There is quite the reaction I would have expected from a secret service. There is no more getting into it than this. Decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the. Wait, what's that noise? Blessed scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. My fellow Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. Yeah, it wasn't us. But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. That is how votes work. What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. How does he know where we are? Lincoln wins the emergency election. The nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I hate when they do that. 
That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. <laughs> Max, we're going <laughs> to make you even. the next president of the United States. With yes. the with the little star. Okay. So this that's good, I guess. What does this say? It's the cue cards for Lincoln's speech. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. I don't know if that's... Is that correct grammar? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give. Sure, I guess so. Hey, bro. Who you like in the election? My money's on Lincoln, and Lincoln's on my money. Clever. Please, please never s speak to me again. Hey, Max. Bye, Max. Just walk in front of the camera, Hi, why don't America? you? It's me, Max. How did you Remember, get there so fast? A vote for me is a vote for prosperity. Alacrity and the tyranny of my furry white iron fist. Thank you. Okay. Hey, a flyer. It's campaign flyer. I want you, honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. He's literally been dead. He can't get experience if he's in the grave. That's not how that works. Look at you. He's too busy talking with his candidate. Yeah, I see that. Um, yeah, there's a room for rent. Hey. Room for rent. Uh, I guess the country really is hard up for cash. Yeah, can I rent a place in the White House? Are we sure this is even the White House? Does the White House have like a little thing like this? I don't think we're not. Uh, yeah, we're not getting I'm gonna look up pictures of the White House after this to see what it actually looks like. Hey, dude. Alright. Can we get the national budget now? Step away from the national budget, sir. That's for the president's eyes only. You're in here now? Oh, no. Not this guy again. That's what I'm hey, saying. It's our pal, Super Bowl. One and the same, sir. Well, stand aside, pal. No can do, sir. Orders. Alright, fine. We'll be back. Roger that. Yeah, I'm glad you're so excited. Dude, what is this picture of George Washington? I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. Peace out, bro. Whoa, hello, Grandma. Apparently, even mechanical puppets have mothers. Yeah, scary ones. That's a face only a mother could love. You... All right, well... Um... Just shoot him. I can't just shoot him. That'd be dirty politics. That would hardly be sporting. I had a feeling that wasn't going to work. Kill me once, shame on you. Kill me twice, shame on me. Oh, that is definitely a John Wilkes Booth joke right there. Whoa, whoa. And ever oh no it's the severed head of the president I yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone you're thinking of Medusa's head I don't want to look oh, yeah. at that I always get those two heads confused okay what happens Mr. Lincoln you? oh as a candidate for office my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging oh good hmm I see well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. Who's the vice president? So I just one of that go, one of the position just go to the vice president? Oh no, you didn't. You ain't all that. I freed the slave. I was star of a popular television sitcom. I'm on the penny. I was on TV. Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults through moderate reasoned debate. Very well then. In the spirit of democracy, I say, bring it. <laughs> and it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn as we bring you okay. the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. president. Who's the vice president? In the Republican corner, we if have something the happens to the vice president, doesn't it go to like the Lincoln. Speaker of the House and or something? Representing the random violence and destruction party, there is the hyperkinetic rabbit-like creature known as Max. 
acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. Hello, the candidates me. are ready, so let's listen in. Okay, let's talk about the issues. Um Where do you stand on religion and schools? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Lincoln pulls out his trusted catchphrase for this election, which delights the crowd, but seems to have no effect on the polls. How would you describe your tax plan? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. And Lincoln dodges the question by pulling out his trusty campaign slogan, which pleases the crowd but has no effect on the polls. There is no crowd. How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. <laughs> he just and Lincoln is once again using his trusted campaign slogan, which is pleasing the crowd, but having no effect on his poll rate. This game is so good. That's enough for now. Keep them coming. I'm ready for anything. Yeah, especially when you say the same thing. Mr. Lincoln, perhaps you'd like to speak about the importance of family values. Of course. I like how Jimmy's a just in the background. Family unit is the rock upon which Good our old Jimmy Two Teeth. It's easy today in this age of your blinged out horseless carriages and blinged racy out. daguerreotype magazines. I don't know what the word daguerreotype means, but okay. Fidelity are outdated concepts. But I stand proud. I have been completely faithful to my lovely wife, Mary Todd, for over seven score Mary years. Todd is probably dead. I've never even looked at another They're woman. Literally impossible. There have been other women in your life, I assume. Did uh, did Abraham Lincoln have any kids? Let's see. Abraham Lincoln kids. All right, he literally only had he only had sons. He only he only had sons, so maybe maybe it's possible that he's never seen another woman ever in the history of forever. Mr. Lincoln, the networks are looking for a soundbite. Would you care to share a few words with us? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. I said basically the same thing. Yeah, what he said did a bit of, did, did a big uh, ditto. Out. Max has to uh, visit the little candidate's room. I'm drunk with power, but it just goes right through me. Okay. I, okay, I picked up the flyer. All right, well, that's cool. I do still have this. I don't know what I use that for. Where are we going, Sam? The only other place Back we can go. Shotgun! Okay. Are we still recording? Yeah. Well, let's go see Sybil. You know, this Tempering mailbox... with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. What's this? I guess it's something. That mailbox has always been there, but I don't think it's changed. Hey, Sybil. Hey, Sybil. Computer-generated love is in the air. I'm sure it is. It w what are you looking for in a date again? Is this I important? I would love to meet a tall, older man with a good career. Oh. How Stay about around, a deceased Sybil. president that's also a statue? How about that? Like this. Yeah. Here you go. What's this? A new application? Yeah. It's uh, for a friend of ours. Yeah. Let's see. Not the Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. He might not like the theater after an event that, that happened a little while ago with a bullet and a guy you think named your John. Computer can find him a date? 
Computer, nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Oh, but he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. That worked. All right. She didn't. When did, when was Abraham Lincoln alive? Uh, is there uh, is there even Whee! a single colored picture of Abraham Lincoln? What is this? Oh, Crime Watch. Free home delivery. Hey, a free home delivery sign. Yeah. The sign's not free, but oh, my book is. Well, I don't want your book. I want the stinking. Hey, Hugh disappear, Bliss. bro. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Stop looking at the camera. Can you disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Sam. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big... Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. Okay! Oh, well, no, it's not. It's mine now. Hey, a free home delivery. Dang it. Hold on. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi. Steak. Dang it. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi. Never look at me Can again. Can you disappear okay. again? Hey, a free home delivery sign. Yeah, see, it's it's free. Um, is there any reason to go to Bosco? Ah, greetings, comrade dog and rabbit. You're definitely gonna be the end of me, Bosco. It's gonna be you. Ha, weenies. Are these weenies beef or pork? Or woolly mammoth meat? It's one hundred percent all natural ingredients. Is to I don't want anything aged that has to do with hot weenies, but whatever. Hey, Bosco. Yeah? What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. True. What? I mean, it's a good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? Good question. Know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um, just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new stars in America, which I love. So he's no need to target me. Yeah, c if, uh, stop wearing that hat and we might love you a little bit more. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? He's the people, comrades. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come their victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. <laughs> no, it's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. Oh. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet, we are strong like bear against the top. Please. I'm working on modifying B-Tad's part two. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store. So I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? A small price to pay for freedom. I'm assuming that's a hint. When's the last time you cleaned out the weaning rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty Franks. When's the last time? Needs no. See you later. All right. Well, that's that, I guess. So. What is this? Are these? I feel. Is there a new? Poster every single time. Give me all you got. It's the army's new recruiting. Is that it? It's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. Oh, it's, it's mine now. I think these signs are new. I think there's been a new sign every time. So this one, I'm pretty sure this one's from the very beginning. I don't know about the professional wrestling one. Feel like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. Or Switzerland. See you, Max. 
Give me all you got. Free home delivery. Okay. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! What if I what if I use this? Oh. Mr. Lincoln, would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. It's a good the speech. The time to act is now. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. What did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called! He wants his beard back! I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk. Save it for the debate, Max. Okay. Hey, uh, I need this back now. Thank you. Okay. Um. Whee! Wait a minute. Can there I call go, Sybil? Sam. Back to the office. Shotgun! Can I call Sybil? Sybil. Brain blasting right now. I looked at the payphone. This is still down. Who are you calling? <sighs> Sybil. Hello, Abe. Is it you? Uh, you bet. Honest Abe here. Very funny, Sam. I have to keep this line open for his call. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. You? First person she thinks. Hi. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, well, Mr. President, it's just, it's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application and I was wondering, would you like to go out sometime? This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. I stand here at the steps of the White House. At the White House. Got it. What time should I meet you? The time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. I'll rush right over. I'm going to slap you silly, you little punk. What? I didn't catch that last part. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. Uh, see you soon. Gotta go. Where are we going? So, to sum up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our fidelity, honesty, and loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your rebuttal? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not Candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm here. Are you ready for our date? What? I, I've never seen this woman before in my life. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. She's going to oh, pull out so some... she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. 
<laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay. Poor Sybil. Who the heck is this? Who is that guy? Who's got 1% over there? Who is that? Okay, well... I didn't expect that. So now... What? It's time for another in this ongoing series of debates <laughs> between Abraham Le Lincoln Look, we're and perfect Max. peen height. We turn you over to our impartial moderator, Sam. Okay, well there's Time out. Max has a therapist's appointment he can't miss. I think we're on the verge of a real breakthrough. All right. Well, let's see how Sybil's doing. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Oh, Sybil. Are you okay? You almost... A blink... Oh. oh. What do you have How on your things in the world of computer generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah. Now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're so, not invited to birthday parties anymore. So, this how trees I work? I a fresh start in a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. Oh. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is, oh my gosh, it's, it's 2,000 years old. This is fantastic. Old is good? Absolutely. I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich. Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Okay. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people! Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists... What it's also what, what is a paleobotanist? And now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick Antiques up. Thunderdome. Antiques Thunderdome, the show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. Now everybody is convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Yeah, sure. Um, I have this little tassel that says 22 on it. Cause that's the year I graduated high school. It's a it's a what it's one year old. It's twenty it's twenty twenty three right now. That's that's like a, an antique, right? It's at least a classic. You're having financial problems. I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. You have a dating I video, Max? I very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Abe and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get what a did you major do, Max? Infall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. See you around, Sybil. So can I just take this? This is mine now. I wonder what future archaeologists will learn from our most sacred treasure. That you can watch 250 channels and there's still nothing good on. 
That's a pretty good joke, Max. Oh, it's been 34 minutes. We will end here then. Quest Jester out.